Hi, I'm Katie Felix. I'm a kindergarten teacher. Today we're going to talk about OneNote, more so about how I put together lessons, not the actual process of OneNote. We'll do that on another day, but it is talking about how we use emojis to help organize our students and then how to assign them in teams. Welcome to my OneNote. This is the OneNote that I was using for the spring. Remember, that was Remote Learning 1.0. So it was us figuring out what to do, how to do it. It's going to be very different in the fall for us. This is not what I am expecting to teach now. I have learned a lot and so have all my colleagues and any teacher. So this is later on when I had already figured out a few pieces of how I wanted to build my OneNote. This week is a camping unit. Other units that we did were seeds to plant, mom, butterflies, by butterflies, we started realizing, oh, the kids are digging in the dirt a lot. How about we do research on worms and insects? Let's get them outdoors exploring. So those were our thematic units that we were really focusing on. We're also doing ocean because we, are, we live right near the Puget Sound. So we are talking a lot about the wildlife around us. And many of my kids do hike and play along the waterfront. This week is all about camping because they kept talking about camping. So notice that I have an emoji right here. I like to use emojis to give an idea about what we're going to be talking about. So I have a backpack for hiking. I have a llama because with Microsoft Innovative Educator Experts, we have llamas. Um, we had some hiking and we had some mountains because we have Mount Rainier near us. For my lessons, I would make a video that was an introduction. This is just to run through what they're going to be learning so they can already be thinking about what's coming next. This is from Stream. The next item that I have here is a YouTube video. Remember that when you're actually in your buildings at school physically, sometimes YouTube doesn't work. So those aren't going to be the best links for you if you're physically in the building for those hybrid teachers and those teachers that are there face to face. The students just had to hit this and then it would all start. It does have the more videos on the bottom. That is the only thing, but you don't have the ads. We then had some information about, we had songs because we like them to sing. Then we had Mount Rainier, which is near us. They were talking all about volcanoes. I had sound files here. So they click on the sound file and they can play it. One of the reasons why I did that is whenever there was directions, I wanted them to hear my voice. Previously, I had done directions at the beginning and I didn't expect them to actually remember all the pieces. And then I remembered I could do audio files. I would make my math videos in PowerPoint and do PowerPoint recorder. One of the reasons why I chose that to do it is with being a Microsoft school and our program that we use, we use Ready Math. They already had PowerPoints made for us, so I just had to record over them. I love that my face is on there so my students see me. I learned that nail polish is a really good thing. This isn't the best color for it, but I would use bright nail polish to be able to have them be able to see my hands because we were doing a lot of our team numbers, so 10 plus 5, and I was using that part of the camera to help out. Of course, you got to throw in the team number song because that's what we do in kindergarten. And then we had the PDFs. When I do PDFs, I make sure that I right click and I set background picture as background. That is a really important thing because otherwise it's not easy to type on it or write on it. During the year, I was able to teach my kids how to draw on these PDFs. You're going to be able to do that digitally by making a video. So, and I always reminded them and showed them whenever I made these videos up, here's what you're doing today. I would remind them that we're going to hit draw. We're going to hit my favorite pen of all, and we have to touch the touch. Otherwise, your screen just moves around on you. So on this activity, they were doing 10 and 1. And they were then able to write it. Then they have to tap the finger so that they can move. So they were filling out these pages. Just above this, there's actually the PDF. So if parents wanted to print it off, it was right there for them. Many of my kids did not have printers. So this is how we did it. 
With 2.0 for remote learn learning, we're trying to get more of the papers to the students and the manipulatives and such because of the lack of fine motor along with it just works better for little bodies. So then they would have their math lesson. Notice that there are directions above for each and every one of them. So let's head over to how do I assign this? Now we're over at our teams. I'm in the post section. I'm going to hit assignments. I'm going to hit create assignments. I like to add my resource first, sometimes because I couldn't remember what emojis I had used to give them that heads up. So here are your choices. You have OneDrive. I use that when I'm pulling out my PowerPoints. I have class notebook. I can link it to files. So if I want to send them out to someplace else, I can do that. I can hit new file. I love doing Word documents. Word documents are excellent after October to just challenge the kids to try to type what they've been writing. They then type it up as well as they can using their phonics, sounding out those words the best they can. Then they play with Immersive Reader and they play a game. The game is, can the computer read my writing? By the way, if you don't leave spaces, it just names off all the letters. It's a great thing to have kinders just play with and it's to play with your writing and understand that other people have to read your writing. You can also do make code. So I'm gonna go to class notebook for today's assignment. I'm gonna go to teacher only. When I have my class notebook set up, I always have everything hidden in my teacher only section. I'm going to hit camping and I'm going to start with Monday. I'm going to attach that. And I have to decide where I'm going to put it. I usually go in before I get to this part and I make a whole new section for that week just to organize my students. I'm going to put in lesson plans for this time around. I'm going to hit done. So then I look at the emoji, I hit the window period, and my emojis pop up. And here's that emoji I was looking for. I can also type in camp. I can type, type in hike. Let me hit it one more time, hike. I can find many different emojis just by typing in a word. So I have my camping one. I'm gonna say Monday, week 10. I'm going to students edit their own copy. When it's a PowerPoint, you're going to have to go in and hit this so that you change it over that students can edit because it automatically says they can't. I am saying who I'm assigning to. I can assign it to multiple teams. So if you have a kindergarten team that you're working with, one person has the notebook already made, you then can push it out to all of your teammates classes also. I can decide on which students Sometimes I might have an assignment that's just for a group of them. I can push assign right now and it automatically assigns it right now, or I can hit edit. I prefer to hit edit because on Friday night, I like to set out the whole week. So I'm going to decide what day am I pushing it out? I'm gonna push this out tomorrow. And I like to change it to 7 a.m. I like to do it early because you know, those little ones like to be early risers. And then I have to decide when it's due. I'm gonna hit done and then I'm gonna hit schedule. Notice that it went from assign to schedule. And there it is. It is now all set up for my students, but it will not pop up in the post. And you'll notice that it's not in the post until that day at that time. And then it suddenly appears for them. So we just reviewed the features of OneNote and how to use it with little ones because you can easily put in audio, you can put video in, video from stream, video from YouTube. They work really, really well in there for your families. And then you can put PDFs. So there will be a video about how to build the OneNote, just not yet, but just wanted to get some ideas going with you and to see that they can be assigned which is always a great thing in teams. Make it easy for your kinders by using those emojis too.